How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Lower back pain sucks and it's even more deflating when the soreness conveniently seems to kick in immediately after going to the gym. Exercising and lifting heavy things is supposed to help reduce lower back pain. So why is the complete opposite happening? In this video, I am going to explain the main reason as to why your lower back is sore after going to the gym and how you can fix this from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. First, let's do a quick human anatomy lesson. Your spine is broken down into four distinct regions, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral. Your lumbar segment is usually where the pain originates from. When viewed from the side, this segment possesses a natural concave curve, which helps keep your spine in proper alignment. In addition to this curve, your back contains a set of three muscles often referred to as your erector spinae group. Engagement of these muscles will cause your spinal column to extend and promote this natural lumbar curve. When your lumbar spine goes from this extended position to a flexed or rounded position, this does not put them in an optimal position to contract or support good posture. This phenomenon is commonly observed during excessive sitting, and when you finally try to straighten out, it is that much harder to do so because your erector spinae muscles are weak and your hip flexors are tight. So this is great information for those of you who like to sit a lot, but how does this concept apply to the gym? Let's take a closer look. Several exercises may be contributing to this harmful posture more than you think. Common culprits include deadlifts and squats where a great deal of posterior chain engagement is required. However, this can happen with pretty much any exercise that involves lumbar spine movement. So to fix this, you need to do two things. First is to pay more attention to your lumbar spine posture during exercises, especially ones where you are seated or there is high strain on the back, like a bent over row. Every once in a while, have a quick look at your posture in the mirror to ensure lumbar curvature is maintained. It's pretty easy to spot and even feel when lumbar spine extension is lost. The second thing you need to do is add some erector spinae strengthening exercises to your routine. While it may seem like these exercises make the pain worse, over the long term they will help strengthen the appropriate muscles, which will in turn do a better job supporting good posture during any exercise you can think of. Feel free to give the workout below a try and let me know how it worked out for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong.